What's up, Hot Shotters, man? Welcome back. I am back home off the road. I'm sorry it's been a minute. Uh, I do have other videos that I could put up, but to be honest, I wanna make sure that I'm giving adequate and valuable information for newbies. There's already a ton of Hot Shot YouTubers that put up loads going on and off uh, showing you, oh, it looks nice here in this state, blah, blah. I want to give y'all some valuable information. I wanted to make sure that this next video is talking about something valuable, which is gross versus net. Um, I've been out since April 1st, and I drove for three weeks um, that first trip, I guess, and then took a week off, and then I got back out for another five weeks. So basically eight weeks in total um, that I've worked. So from April all the way to June 18th, which is today, um, is I worked eight weeks. I wanna basically talk about the gross versus net because yeah, to be honest, it was definitely a good chunk of change that I've made out of eight weeks of work but there's also bills. I wanna show you how I was able to gross what I gross, but then still have a good work-life balance. But then also, let's talk about what I'm taking home. Like we paid the bills, gotta pay the bills, that's hands down, that gets paid first. And then we gotta talk about fuel and other things. So uh, this video will be about the gross versus net. And I wanna show you that, yeah, hot shot trucking is worth it. So let's get into that it. first uh, trip, um, I made, I grossed $12,920. Now the second time I went out, again, I took one week off or maybe like a week and some change and I got back out there for five weeks and I grossed $19,200. Now also within this trip, I actually grossed more, but it was cash on delivery and I factor, which I will be including that in my net profit in a moment, but um, I of course don't have to uh, factor any loads that I do for cash on delivery because they're giving me cash on delivery. So one of the cash on delivery loads um, paid $1,600 and then the second one paid $2,800. So in total, from the time, my entire time of business, since I've been actually on the road doing work. My grand total that I've grossed is $36,520. Now, that sounds good. I mean, for eight weeks, that sounds very good. But let's get into the bills. I'm gonna break them all down for you, hopefully rather quickly. Um, but the truck payment is $1,150 a month. So $1,150 a month. Uh, the trailer is also $334 a month. And the insurance is $1,204. So $1,204 for the insurance. And then of course the lower board, uh, that's $150. Actually I have in here $160 cause I just like to leave a little room, but it's actually 150, but let's just say 160. And then uh, I have a cell phone plan and data plan and phone for mom and all this type of stuff. But either way, that's $344 a month, which it should have been cheaper. Let's not even talk about it. Uh, and then lastly, the EOD, I paid $16 a month. So in total, that comes to, and that brings my monthly overhead that I have to pay to $3,208 a month. So $3,208 a month is my monthly overhead now again like i said those times i'm at home i mean like of course there's more than eight weeks between april 1st and you know june 18th so those weeks that i'm off i got things to do blah blah the monthly bills are still adding up and that's kind of how you can let the, the, the business can start to run you. I can already see that, but I hear that from a lot of other people that the business can really start to run you because it's monthly overheads, the monthly bill that you have to pay no matter if you're on the road or not. Um, so I say all that to say, I've incorporated in this ex gross versus net, basically three months, three two two and a half months of bills. So <clears throat> again, April bills, 3208. May bills, 3208. 
for June, I also have 3208. Like, I just, I like to really give you all true numbers so that you can't say, well, you know, you're not including this bill. I, I like to assume the worst and anything else is gonna be profit. I mean, I said that in one of my first ever YouTube videos and I really mean it. Overshoot or like just inflate the numbers, not inflate the numbers, but inflate your expenses. And if it comes out lower, you win. So it's not, it's not a question. Either way, so that's three months of bills monthly bills which is again 3208 a month april may june now for fuel on that first month this is another thing i was doing the idiot thing of actually i stop and stay mostly like overnight at loves uh pilots basically popular name brands is gonna i know that's gonna have a clean shower and it's gonna be pretty normally a safe community of trucks where you know we all look out for each other when i stayed over on my first trip, every time I stopped at night to stay over, I got fuel. So that means I'm getting I, whatever it's costing, I'm getting like just definitely a dummy move. But you know, you live and you learn. And then I was thinking that diesel prices were going to be pretty much the same, and they're not. You can definitely find a uh, good price diesel. Uh, it's a lot of apps out here. Uh, I actually find it through my fuel card. So for my first three weeks, I was actually paying way too much for, for fuel. I was literally just getting it every night whenever I, you know, pulled into a Loves or Pilot. Uh, and they're going to normally be higher priced versus going into, to be honest, a small um, truck stop or smaller, you know, truck stop that's, you know, going to have more decently priced fuel. So either way, I paid way too much for fuel those first three weeks. So I really could have profited way more, at least a, a thousand more. I, I really feel like I was out for five weeks and I only spent like a little bit more than a thousand over what I spent those first three weeks. So that shows you right there that I was just going about it the wrong way. Those first three weeks, the total in fuel is 4,696. So 4,696 was what I paid in fuel those first three weeks. After I got a good fuel car, and I get like discounts on certain truck stops that's in their network. And then I just basically look for better price fuel overall, even if I'm not, cause they're not always gonna have an in-network uh, truck stop, you know, or, or fuel station where I'm gonna be at. I mean, I'm everywhere, sometimes in the boondocks, but I still search for like good price fuel. So with that second trip, which was again, five weeks, the fuel was $5,698. So $56.98. So the last thing we have to calculate <clears throat> is my factoring. Now, again, I had two loads that I didn't have to use factoring for because it was cash on delivery. The other loads, all of the other loads I did uh, use a factoring for, and that totaled up to $11.25 that, you know, got taken out of my gross amount. Now, of course, at the end of the day, when we stack the money up, and, and get our bread up, we can hopefully not have to depend on using a factoring company. Um, but at the moment, you know, we need to really get in the black and, uh, you know, we need everything we can get. So I'm okay. You know, I basically pay like three and a half percent, really like 3%. It's a little scale, which if you can try to get it fixed, I wasn't savvy enough to, you know, work out that deal. So shame on me, but I, I, my factoring is, basically 2% to 4%, but it normally average out to about 3.5%, probably lower to be honest, 3%, because it depends on how long the brokerage company takes to pay you or to pay people, period. That's really dependent on is what they're gonna charge you as far as the rate. But either way, for me, in total, for my entire time of being in business from April 1st to June 18th, uh, it was 11.25. So let's go over the bills one more time and then we'll take a look at the net profit. So again, the grand total that I grossed was $36,520. Uh, for all the bills, April bills, 3208. May bills, 3208. June bills, 3208. For fuel the first time, 4696. For fuel the last five weeks, 5698. 
and then factoring was 1125. So that gives us a net profit of $15,377. So the moral of this story is yes, hot shot trucking is definitely worth it. The money is there. Yeah, we got a high over here. You gotta pay those bills. I could have went way harder. But again, remember, this was only in eight weeks of work. So these are just true numbers that you all can take and really live with and just, hey, do the math yourself. I know for me, me versus corporate America, I'm coming home even after my personal bills are paid, I'm bringing home, I'm, there's more money in my pocket. So for me, that feels like a win. I feel like I won. When I was working in corporate America, yeah, it was great, I was getting paid. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna be able to get that yearly bonus anymore, but huh, keep pushing, keep working. My bonus is in the future. But on a weekly basis, a monthly basis, I'm bringing home after my overhead for the business, my personal bills, after all of those are paid, I have more money in my pocket. To me, that's personally a win. So, you know what I'm saying? You make the decision on your own. I hope this information was good. I appreciate y'all because y'all probably looking at me like, who the hell does this guy think he is with these glasses? I, like I said, I like to try to keep a good work life balance. And on the road, we get dirty, we stink. It's just a tough life, to be honest. And I'm, I'm gonna do a video about that, actually. So I know you're probably looking like, who the hell do you think you are with the glasses on? But I just like to really still enjoy my life and live how I normally would live if I wasn't a trucker. That's my business. But I still wanna have a good life and look good because if you're just looking like shit all day, you kinda start to feel like it. <laughs> So hopefully y'all can relate, man. But other than that, I'm in traffic. I'm home enjoying myself. We're about to go to a baseball game, have date night, little picnic. You know what I'm saying? Say hey to the people, baby. Say hey to the people. There you go. I shot us. So anyway, we about to get out of here. Hopefully y'all can relate. Hopefully this information was good for y'all. And let me know what y'all think. I mean, like I said, this me in eight weeks. I could have went harder. I will go harder, but I have a lot of weddings, a lot of life. Life is crazy, man. So it don't work out like that all the time. But either way, it's worth it. We're going to keep going. We're going to keep pushing. We're going to get better. We're going to profit more. We're going to cut down our expenses. And we're just going to do it all.